three, three, two, two, one. one. Got a blast. What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody failing in today? Welcome back to another video. I have a special video. This is gonna be a nice stretch big. Remember, if you didn't see my last video of the Michael Conley build, um, I'm gonna just update y'all. So listen, so I know that 2K is about to drop. 2K25 is about to drop in the next, what, two months or so. So we gonna be getting some, you know, new gameplay. Uh, we just waiting on you know hearing what 2k has because you know you know every year is honestly the same that's why live needs to drop so they can have competition right but i have so many bills that i didn't drop so i'm gonna just release these videos onto my channel you know what i mean i, I understand that most people's on maybe ncaa college football right now which is all good but i don't play that so i'm not gonna just you know honestly waste my time on that game but um I wish I did, because that would be some good content, but all right, so we're just going to get right into this, but so Andre Bargnani, this is the prime version of him from the Toronto Raptors, this is like, from what I'm assuming, it's going to be like a nice stretch big, a lot of people was comparing this man to Dirk at one point, but I thought that was hilarious because he never won a ring, and he, come on, comparing this guy to Dirk, come on, stop it, but all right, so you see, first thing first, driving a layup of 69, not, not bad, um, depending on the attribute, I mean, depending on what badges you get, I might go up to 70 to see if that makes a difference, but 69, uh, it don't really look that good to me. Standard dunk out of 75, that's solid. Driving dunk with 60, okay, you get some decent dunk packages with the 60 driving dunk, and then the close shot. I feel like all big men should have close shot, depending on the type of build that you are trying to make. If you wanna make it all around, or close shot. If you wanna just be like a stretch big, that's fine, or maybe like a pick and pop. You probably don't need close shot. Standing dunk will probably just be just fine. Now, as you can see, mid-range shot of a 77 with a three-point shot of a 90. That is awesome, but you won't. I don't think it's possible to go seven foot and get a 93 point shot. So we're gonna have to adjust something and see what we could do. All right, the free throw 84, all you need is an 80. Um, you know, we already know we about so many months into this game you know this game is about to be done with and we're about to be on the next one so we already know what we're rocking with post control over 88 that's solid you probably just need an 85 to get the main you know badges on gold and silver probably don't even need to go 88 pass accuracy so the play making is low but to me if possible at least want to go 68 so you can get the bronze break starter and a couple other bronze badges like diamond and stuff but I feel like all big men should at least have a break start on bronze. You have to have that at least on bronze. That's silly. Now the defense. So 84 interior. The perimeter we don't need to speak about because you don't get no badges. There's nothing that goes into that. The steel is solid. Just go 60 for the interceptor. The block, 85 to me is silly. It's either you're going to go bronze, um, you know, bronze anchor or silver anchor because all you need is... 87 to get the silver anchor so you might as well do that his rebounding wasn't the worst but he wasn't no crazy rebounder. like he can rebound but he wasn't like snagging you know what i mean like a dennis Rodman or something but it's all good uh now the speed he wasn't the fastest player but he was skilled you know what i mean like bagnani was a skilled uh seven foot center you see his strength he was strong he had a 90 strength not saying that his strength was like that in real life, but in the game, you know, a 90 strength, 75 bird, 90 stamina, not bad, all right? So we're gonna go to the mob player builder and make the one and only Andre Bargnani. All right, my people, so we are in the mob player builder and you already know Andre Bargnani, first and last name, right hand, jersey number seven. We're making a center, you wanna stay at seven foot. You wanna drop the weight down to 237. I decided to just drop the weight down instead of going up because I wanted to make sure I got that 90 strength and I didn't need to go all the way to his actual strength to get the 90 strength, so I left it. Then I also left the wingspan at 7'5 because that's what he had, right? Now, um, let me see something. Oh yeah, all right, so yeah, I left it at 7'5, but you can drop this all the way down, okay? You can drop this all the way down and you will have an 86 three-point shot with a you know high midi, but his midi wasn't high, his three-point shot was high, so I just left it at, a 7.5 wingspan, all right? Now, first things first, you already know, we're gonna do the 
physicals first. So look at that, 95 on the stamina. He had a 90, I just want 95 to get that workhorse. Uh, he had a 75 vert, so of course I'm going 75 on the vert. The strength, you already know he had a 90 strength, so I wanted to make sure I get that, that strength, so we're going 90. So you already know, brick wall, gold, mood, and fossil, and gold, bulldozer, silver. And then I just maxed out the acceleration, 60, and then I went 69 on the speed, all right? Now, for the rebounding and the defense, he had a 70 something, I said, nah, I'm not doing that. So I went 83. So 83 is gonna give us the silver badge, Pogo stick, rerun chaser, box out beast, that's what we want. And then I went 80 on the offensive. So definitely, I made his rebounding a lot better than what 2K did for him, right? I went 87. So he had an 85, why go 85? If you can just go up here and you'll get the anchor on silver and you'll see that once we put the interior. Went 60 on the steel so we could get interceptor. And then for the perimeter, I just threw away the attributes and put it at 44, right? But now we're gonna see. So all we needed to get the anchor, the 72. But I just went up so I could be workhorse on gold and the post locked on, on silver, as you can see right here, right? So that's solid. We were ball, I maxed out the uh, ball handling at 65. And then like I said, we wanna at least go 68 so we could get that break starter. So now we're working with some solid bronze badges, break starter bronze, diamond bronze, post playmaker bronze, relay passer on bronze. You can't go wrong with that, right? For the free throw, I went 81. I speak about just going 80, but I had to put attributes somewhere so I could get to the 99 potential overall. Now for the three point shot, I just maxed that out at 80. That is more than enough to get the job done. Once you know, activate your, your sharp takeover, you're gonna have a 90 or Mamba mentality. You have a 93 point shot. You get your hot zones, you get your lethal zones. This 80 is going to feel like you have a 90 plus, all right? Mid-range shot, max that out at 87. Even though he had a 77, I said, you know what, let's just max it out so we can get better jump shot bases, all right? Now, for the post control, like I said earlier, just go 85. He had an 88, it doesn't make sense. All we need is 85. So you can see how, this is a solid center build right here, right? You could be like a pick and pop type of, you know, player with this build. Uh, you can play in a post, you can do post fades. You see what you can do here, like, solid the standing dunk uh i just went with a 70 he had a 75 but nothing happens figured oh i should have went okay maybe i should have just won 71 i mean the 73 but now that i realize that um i think i'm still able to get the fast yet yeah, because i'm gonna put the close shot up so standing uh the driving dunk what was that 60 yeah just stayed at 60. the layup i went 70 on the layup all right like I said, I was going to stay at 69, but if you go 70, you get the uh, fearless finisher and the pro touch on goal. So that made more sense to do. And then the rest, I went to the close shot. Uh, we're supposed to have an 85 close shot. Let me drop this and go 85. Okay, so that's what happened. Okay, so to be honest, we probably don't need to go 85. Because I went 85 here, but if you don't need 85, I recommend you go 72 so you can get the rise up at least on bronze. So this this makes a lot more sense than to go 85 here. And then we can just throw the attributes somewhere. Let's just probably put the perimeter to 46. So this build is solid. Get that big driver on Hall of Fame, which is gonna be incredible. The shooting is amazing. You could do pick and pop in the mid-range. You could do uh, pick and pop, um, and of course, at the three-point mark. Then you can play in a post, hit him with the post phase. You have it on Hall of Fame, drop stepper. You know, like this build is solid. And then you can handle the ball a little bit as well. So you get the unpluckable in silver because you have the 85 post control. Now the defense is solid, okay? Of course, if you have IQ, this is all you need. 82 interior for the post lockdown workhorse. You got that interceptor on um, 60. You have a 75 wingspan. The block is there. So you're gonna get those mean block animations that, that start off with, a, with the silver anchor. This is solid too. You know, you're seven foot seven. You have some speed on you now. You have the strength. Like, this is a great Andre Bargnani build, in my honest opinion. This is a great build that I could have seen a lot of 
different players in the early stages of NBA 2K24 they could have created. This is solid. You can be calm with this build, I believe. So only issue I can say that might not make it comp is the rebounding because you know a lot of the guys they be having like a 99 offensive and stuff like that. But from a rec standpoint, park, you know, a friendly fade standpoint, this is a perfect center build. All right. Um, so now, once you put the attributes in like I did, of course we don't get shades of Andre Bargnani, but it is what it is because the shades that we do see is Andre Bargnani like, all right? Then we get a three level threat, so can't go wrong with that. This is a solid build right here, all right? So y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build, and until next time, much love.